What's up everybody? Are you overwhelmed by the never-ending supply of depressing bad news? Well, let's refuel our tanks with seven recent positive stories. This is getting news for the month of April 2020. With India on lockdown, endangered sea turtles on course to lay 60 million eggs this year is the Giddy News headline courtesy of Elias Murat with the Mind Unleashed and a link to the source will be included in the description below. In India, along the coast of the eastern state Odisha, over 475,000 endangered olive ridley sea turtles have come ashore to a beach to dig their nest and lay eggs. Restrictions in place due to the COVID-19 threat has allowed for hundreds of thousands of endangered turtles to be protected from any human presence, especially the presence of tourists, resulting in their most successful mass nesting in years. Typically, the event would attract hordes of tourists eager to see the miraculous event, while local poachers would come afterward to rob turtle eggs and sell them at local village markets. However, the coronavirus lockdown has prevented any such disturbance of this year's mass nesting, allowing forest guards and researchers to focus on guarding the turtles. Dolly Parton will read bedtime stories to kids online every week is the Giddy News headline courtesy of Bill Chappelle with NPR, and a link to the source will be included in the description below. Musician and philanthropist Dolly Parton is launching a weekly online series in which she reads a children's book from her nonprofit Imagination Library project. The Imagination Library, which she started in 1995, has delivered more than 130 million free books to children. The goal of the series is to give kids and families a welcome distraction during a time of unrest and also to inspire a love of reading and books. The COVID-19 pandemic has ended the school year early for thousands of children, and it has also disrupted normal routines in the U.S. and around the world. Dolly hopes this series of stories will provide comfort and reassurance to coping kids and families during the shelter-in-place mandates. The Good Night with Dolly readings will be streamed right here on YouTube. Less traffic on Las Vegas roads during pandemic is causing less pollution, is the Getty News headline courtesy of Amy Abdul Syed of KTNV Las Vegas News, and a link to the source will be included in the description below. Less vehicle traffic on Las Vegas roads caused by the coronavirus pandemic is yielding less air pollution in the area. Data gathered by the county's Department of Environment and Sustainability indicate less overall pollutant emissions in the region. The county said the data show less particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide in the second half of March compared to the first half and about one-third decrease in those pollutants from February to March. The county says the results are likely due to the resort corridor shutdown and many Las Vegas Valley residents complying with Governor Steve Sisolak's stay-at-home order. Meteorologist Paul Francioli said, we know for a fact that Clark County's air quality has been good and improving. Love in coronavirus times. A couple meets for dates on closed Danish-German border is the Giddy News headline courtesy of Melissa Suji van Brunnersum of DW.com and a link to the source will be included in the description below. 85-year-old Inga Rasmussen lives in Denmark. 89-year-old Karsten Hansen lives in Germany. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, they have not been deterred from meeting each other every single day at the border while keeping a safe distance, of course. They meet at the border to chat, eat lunch, and have a flask of coffee or gil comb, which is a popular spirit from the region. Normally, they would embrace, kiss, and hug, but now they must keep their distance. The two sit on each side of the red and white barrier that make the border on chairs that they have brought with them from home. The couple met two years ago, and since March 13th of last year, they have spent every single day together. As Hansen says, as they toast each other, cheers to the love. Simple, low-cost ventilator builds on available resuscitation bags is the Giddy News headline, courtesy of John Toon with Georgia Tech News, and a link to the source will be included in the description below. A simple, low-cost ventilator based on the resuscitation bags carried in ambulances has been designed by an international team of university researchers. The device could help meet peak medical demands created by the COVID-19 pandemic. The ventilator, which can serve two patients simultaneously, can be produced from inexpensive metal stock and plastic gearing. 
The airflow is separate for two patients to avoid cross-contamination. The device was designed at Cranfield University in the United Kingdom and built and tested at Georgia Tech in collaboration with Emory University. Susan Margillis, chair of the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Georgia Tech and Emory University said, it is heartwarming to see U.S. manufacturers open source some of their FDA approved designs to stimulate production. This game helps scientists design COVID drugs and they want you to play is the Getty News headline courtesy of Liam Mannix of the Sydney Morning Herald and a link to the source will be included in the description below. Scientists want your help combating the coronavirus by playing Fold It on your computer. Fold It challenges users to solve 3D puzzles by building shapes, which are actually proteins, and finding ways to fit the shapes together. The program, originally coordinated by the University of Washington, has been running for more than a decade and has a string of successes behind it, such as cracking the shape of a protein important to AIDS drugs. Fold It now presents players with a 3D COVID model. The goal is to build a protein that will fit onto it like Tetris. So far, thousands have submitted solutions using different shapes, and every extra person helps because a team will select the best protein shapes soon and begin building them. Ultimately, the protein shapes will be tested against the COVID virus in a lab to design potential drugs. Portugal gives migrants and asylum seekers full citizenship rights during the coronavirus outbreak is the getting news headline courtesy of Mia Alberti and Vasco Cotovio of CNN and a link to the source will be included in the description below. Portugal has temporarily given all migrants and asylum seekers full citizenship rights, granting them full access to the country's health care during the coronavirus outbreak. The move will unequivocally guarantee the rights of all the foreign citizens, with applications pending with Portuguese immigration, said the nation's Council of Ministers. President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa called the COVID-19 pandemic a true war which would bring true challenges to the country's way of life and economy. De Sousa praised the behavior of Portuguese citizens, saying they have been exemplary in imposing a self-quarantine and reflecting this is a country that has lived through everything. All right, that's it. I would love to hear what you think about this week's Giddy News. And if you have a positive news story that you'd like for me to share, please include a link in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.